Hello everybody, this is 360 Mods and Hacks, and today I'm going to be showing you a tutorial on how to mod GTA IV, the original, because Ballad has a lot of modders in there, and uh, I'm not too fond of Ballad, I don't really like it, uh, I think it's just a really bad DLC for GTA in my opinion, but that's not what we're here to discuss, we're here to discuss modding in the original GTA. Alright, so you're going to need a few things that I'll have in the description, you'll need to download them. Um, one is a GTA for modding tools, another one is ABGX360, and then to get your ISO, you can either go on xbox360iso.com or you can find it on a torrent. Um, one thing to make sure of is that um, NTSC slash U is the United States and PAL is um, the United Kingdom so that's just two things you want to look for so what we're gonna do here is we're going to check the region on this ISO right now in ABGX so we're gonna open up ABGX alright um, on the auto fix level 2 is fine if you want to go to level 3 that's another story but you know everything's all good with that on level 2 so we're going to open it up in documents, wherever you saved your GTA 4. We're going to click launch. All right, now there's a few things that will take you straight to the bottom, but one thing you want to look at is the region code. It's NTSC slash U. You know, I live in the United States, so that's what I'm going to use. Um, another thing, if you drag the cursor up to the top, um, you'll want to make sure that it creates a DVD. And... You just want to make sure everything looks green from now on. Um, if you have a pre-modded ISO, it's understandable that this, uh, when it finishes, will not show up all green, which is fine. Um, it's just going to say the game data didn't verify, but we're going to put mods into it so it'll, over, it'll replace, I should say, the mods that were currently in the ISO. Alright, um... If y'all have burned a disc before, y'all will know that you need the DVD uh, dual layered verbatim discs. You can use the Memorex ones, but I'm fond of the verbatims because I've never had a fail on them. And uh, they're pretty good discs overall. I use them for almost every game I burn. Alright, so once this finishes and everything like that, it's computer whoring my RAM. Uh, let me go and open up modding tools. What we're going to open up is Xbox Backup Creator. Some of these might have an error depending on your computer and your RAM and everything like that. But always for safe keep, run as administrator. Alright. And then um, you're going to go to Image Tools and then Image Browser. Alright. And then once you're on this, uh, I'm just going to go check ABGX. So, mine was already modded. So, if yours is clean, it'll show all green. <laughs> but if it's not, this is what it'll show. And uh, press any key to exit. So, we're good with that. And uh, now we're going to open up the image browser and Xbox Backup Creator. We're going to click Open Image File. Then we're going to our ISO, which we just stealth patched. Alright, and then here's where all the files come into place. Now, I'm going to open up um what I need to put in here so I'm going to find my modded files and y'all are gonna go find your ones that you downloaded there's a lot of mod menus out there there's XMC's there's Dax Phantoms there's a uh, like some virus guy Bovo virus or something um where I go to look would be um Seven Sins, basically. I mean, I prefer the tech game, but Seven Sins is more of a direct download kind of type thing. You don't have to sign up or anything, which is good. So, um, yeah. And uh, let me go find this stuff. GTA Premium Menus. All right. So I'm going to put the script network in here. Uh, where is it? Okay. Common Data. CDI images, script network, replace. 
okay and then you're gonna go find uh, you're gonna put your script network in there from the ones you downloaded so like XMC will have a script network or anything like that so yeah go ahead and put that in there um, same with the script image if you have map mods and stuff like that um, it's not necessarily really important to put it in there it's just if your menu has a lot of stuff that won't fit in your script network um, there's a maximum file size on it so you can see that almost impossible to overload the script image but it is possible to overload the script network so that's why people do that in this sense um, another thing you're going to want to replace is the Xbox 360 RPF if yours didn't come with it it's all right you know um, what I do recommend is extracting it putting your mods in and then importing it back but that's just what I've done for the longest time since I've been a modder since quite a while and the common.rpf that'll find all your handling files um, y'all probably heard me talk about it in my earlier videos so that is definitely a necessity to replace if you want fast cars and indestructible things and a whole bunch of fun stuff so once you're done with that um, you can do two things you can either write it using a Xbox Backup Creator. I don't do that though. You know, ever since I had like one burn that was bad with Xbox Backup Creator, and it was the only one I did. Um, you know, I haven't used it. So, what I use now is Image Burn for everything. Um, there's two ways you can do this. You can either click Write Image File to Disk and go find the file, or you can go directly to your ISO. That you just put all the mod menus in and click the disk image file, which is one kilobyte, not the seven gig. And it'll open up, oh, I guess it opened up another one, that's cool. And then it'll automatically put this in here. Um, for me, I do not click verify. That takes four times as long as it does to burn the disk, so don't do that. Um, your write speed, I mean, for me, recommended, unless you have a light-on drive, which light-on drives won't let you burn at 2.43, 3x and 2.4x, but if you have just a normal stock DVD burner, 2.4x is where you want to go so you don't get a bad burn. Um, it's better to, you know, set out 40 minutes than it is 220s, I would say, or like 230s because 4x is not much faster. And you're going to go ahead and burn it, and once you burn it to a disc, uh, you can throw it in your Xbox or if you hot swapped it then go ahead and start that dilemma um, if y'all have any more questions on this you can either personal message me or you can leave a comment in the description so with all that being said uh, my gamer tags dope xxx waffle so if you see me in a game hit me up um, y'all gotta stop freezing out those games too I'm telling you so y'all take it easy peace out